As you walk around outside in Florida, you're likely to see palm trees, like these palmetto trees right here, at the base of which you might find pieces of their leaves like this. Today I'm going to make something out of this over here in the workshop. Should be a fun project. I'll be making a tiki out of this thing and the first thing I'm going to need are some tools like hole saws. I've got a uh, big Faulkner bit here and uh, another hole saw. It's got some junk in it from my last project. I think those are pieces of kayak. <laughs> I'll just uh, wrestle them out of there. Dogs seem to know that I'm up to no good. Speaking of which, after I get the eyes cut out, I've done this before where I removed them and glued them back in, but now I'm just going to do it the easy way. I also don't want to ruin my workbench, so I need a piece of wood in case that bit pops through. Easy peasy, we almost got a face here. Now I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to add a little color to it. Doesn't really matter. I just happen to have some green paint. And I think I use orange also. But you can paint them red or blue or whatever you like. Earthy colors, I think, are the best bet. You can see my LED lights, uh, they don't really blink in real life, just on camera. Darn things. Anyways, in here, let's see, what have I got? Some paint, cowbell. Oh yes, there it is. Okay, I want a white paint, but I'm going to have to mix it. Shit, I need a stick. A stick. Where's my paint sticks? Then just a little bit here on the eyeballs, make them stand out. That'll do. Okay, now this thing is a little bit big right now, so I'm gonna trim it up and I choose a handsaw, which might not be the best idea. It's got big teeth on it, and this is real fragile, and as I'm cutting through the base here, it's uh, it's catching and yeah. I wound up breaking the darn thing. At this point, it's not completely broken through, but don't worry, I'll fix that. <laughs> While cutting the left part of the top, the chin just completely breaks off. <clears throat> Fortunately though, on these doors, not only do I have paint, but I also have some glue. So I'll just take that and stick it back on there. <clears throat> Yes, the glue of choice is High Strength 90, my favorite spray adhesive. Took a little doing, but I was able to make it work. Don't worry, chicks dig scars. As the glue dried, it seemed like this was going to be actually uh, salvageable, so I gave him some tattoos. Look like uh, cat whiskers, kind of sort of. But any kind of face art really makes this tiki pop. Now, in order to hang this thing up, I decided that string was going to work. Uh, more precisely, twine. It's a nice natural material. So I grabbed myself a drill bit and make a couple of holes in the thing. That's gonna be like the straps that you might find on a mask. Hairy string though, so it's a little bit difficult to pass through, but you only gotta do it once. I tie a little knot in there, use some CA glue or super glue, and just like that we have ourselves a little tiki mask. Come a long way from uh, an old nasty leaf sitting on the ground, huh? Let's take this out to natural light and hang it up.
pick a spot, but it's a little too high for me to reach. No problem, I'll just <laughs> bring the uh, milk crate over here and yeah, OSHA approved ladder. Not too shabby. All right, that'll keep the evil spirits away for a little while. Now I can get back to more important stuff. Not sure what that'll be yet. You guys will just have to stick around and find out.